let us see how to register ourselves for a Moodle website using nomio.com. On the browser, type nomio.com. It redirects you to this. You can type a name which best suits you so i have taken the letters dr php and this will be your site address. So the entire thing will be your site address. Give one email address which you want to register with. For example, drhimapi at gmail.com. This is one of my email addresses which I used to create. Click on I have added an agreed terms and conditions and say create site. So you can see here within a few minutes you will receive an email with login details. If you do not receive it, please check your spam folder. The main thing which has to be noticed on this website is you might see a notice like this. Sorry for the interruption. It looks like you are using an ad blocker. So if you are using an ad blocker, so you can see the tiny symbol here on your right hand side top, top corner. This tiny hand symbol, red color, that shows the ads are being blocked. So you can click on this green tab or click on the red symbol on the top here. It will show you how many ads being blocked and then you can say, don't run on this, don't run on pages on this site because we'll be going into so many pages. So we'll say, don't run. This Nomeo works on advertisements and hence we need that the ad blocker is turned off. So you can see this is a green symbol which shows there is no ad block on this website. Now I'll go to my email. I'll try to check whether I have received an email from Nomeo or not. If I have not received, I'll try to check the spam folder. So there is no email yet. I have to wait for some time. You can see there is an email from Nomeo support. Click on that. You can find your site has been created. So this is the modal site, drphpnomeo.com. And by default, everybody will have the same username, admin. And the password is given here. So I'll copy the password and I'll use it onto my website. So once your site is ready, just click on that. You will be redirected to your site. So this is how the page looks like. Welcome to your Moodle site. And you can see there's an ad blocker. So now I'll have to remove this ad blocker, exclude this website. If you don't find where is your ad blocker, just search on Google how to remove ad blocker from your computer or laptop. So it will show you. So here is a sample video to watch what is Moodle and how to use it. Otherwise, you can say, go to the 
top right hand corner and say login. So the username is admin by default and a password was sent by Nomeo to you. So I can say remember my username then login. I can now customize the pages. I can change my profile by clicking on the top here near admin user. So click on profile and just scroll down. You can see edit profile. Go to edit profile. You can change the username. Instead of admin, you can put your own name. You can enter a new password for this. You can change your first name also. You can change surname. You can choose the option like your email address is to be visible to everyone or just hide your email address or allow other course member to see your email address. So you can choose whatever you like. Type your city, time zone if you want to change and you can give a description of your site. Welcome to my learning site. So you can use one user picture if you want. So there is no user picture right now. You can upload one user picture here by clicking on this symbol. So there is no, no picture in your files in Nomeo. So I can go to an option called upload a file. So just see on the left hand side, a third one, upload file. I'll say choose a file. So I can use any picture I want. Maybe something like this, I'll try to choose. Now I say upload this file. So you can see one image, what I have uploaded is visible here on this profile page. So if you want, you can add your additional names you can add your interests like tags in the name of tags. And there are optional things like your web page, your Skype ID, blah, blah, blah. So if I don't want to do that, I'll say update profile. So you can see for the username, there is a problem. And Password must contain at least one uppercase letter. And also numbers and characters. So after doing that, I'll say update my profile. Now you can see that my page is updated and there is a picture on my profile. So this is my name, Himabindu Pitta, and you can see there is a picture which I uploaded. 
and this is my profile so you can see my email address my country my city you can edit it whenever you want so whenever somebody is trying to see my profile they'll be able to see this picture so because this is a new web website there's nothing in my dashboard i have not added anything and here onwards you can start adding your courses your content etc